Hey everybody, Buzzsaw Gaming here, hanging out with my favorite retro gaming buddy, Mr. Buzzsaw, on the left speaker right there. Here to bring you another interesting video. I'm pushing the hardware on my old 386 computer. Here we're going to try Command and Conquer. Now you remember Command and Conquer, one of the best uh, real-time strategy games from the mid-90s. Now this game fully, fully pushes this computer to the max. In fact, <laughs> maybe it's not even playable, I'm not sure. But uh, it requires a 486 DX266 processor. And this is a 386 DX40. So it's uh, quite a bit less than what's needed. So <laughs> anyways, it's a fun game. So I thought I'd give it a spin. Uh, check it out. See what you guys think. Have a good time with it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it loaded up. It, uh, I installed the game. It runs. I mean, it's not ideal, especially with the mouse. I've been having issues with my mouse lately. So it stopped working and it started glitching out. And I cleaned it out and I opened it up. And I put it back together and now it's working again. And, uh, you know, online I, uh, I ordered another mouse. I'm going to get a new mouse. Microsoft mouse, serial mouse, Westwood Studios with a driver and manual and all that. So yeah, I'll, I'll upgrade the mouse. I figured I can, uh, I can do that. <laughs> Here is the opening scene, Command and Conquer. The original Command and Conquer. I mean, this is what basically took Warcraft 2 to the next level. It was the original Command and Conquer and the spin-offs that came afterwards, I have no idea. How many there are, but there are a lot of them. And it's a great game. It's a lot of fun. I have a really good time with it. Always enjoyed it. Maybe I'll dim it out a bit here. Close some curtains down. There we go. Okay, start a new game. That's Mr. Buzzsaw Chills. As you can see, it's uh it's pretty slow. It's uh Global Defense Initiative select Far beyond the uh, <laughs> uh, ability of the uh, 386. Are you picking this up? Sure am. Good. I know you need more deep background, but we're up against it. Oh. Non-forces have fortified this beachhead at X16Y42. Intelligence is still coming in, so we can't tell you a lot. We found a chink in their armor. Commander Carter can sneak you and some backup forces on shore right here. You may get oh, some artillery support on these gunboats, but this is mostly aye, aye, aye. The mission is simple. Knock out all fortifications. Oh, no. Eliminate all non troops and establish a beachhead by building your base. There we go. Good luck. It's going to go on my shoulder now. Apparently, uh, he's a bit, uh, <laughs> he wants to move around a bit. Yeah, remember these full motion videos? I used to love them back in the day. I said it runs okay. I mean, <laughs> requires a 486 DX2. I mean, that's like an upper, basically like an upper level 486, really. And we're still able to play it. So, as you can see, though, it's quite, quite slow. It's jerky. So, you know, kind of is what it is. But it's still a fun game. I don't know what kind of upgrade could I do to make it play better, but uh, honestly, Reinforcements I don't think too many. It's just uh, requires a faster CPU. Right, it's a new guys. And my mouse issues, issues aren't helping either. So I mean, I don't know what's going on with the mouse. So uh, like I said, I bought a new mouse online, so hopefully that'll resolve some of the issues i was starting to have some issues with uh, warcraft as well so i don't know what's going on is it the computer is it the mouse is it a little bit of both oh no see what i mean i selected it and then it went to a totally different area i want you to go here dude right there all right and this guy right there these guys. 
Right up there. Nice. Right, as soon as he's done, let's open him up. Get a little bass going. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. New construction options. Gotta get that power plant going on. So I can get it over there. There we go. New unit. Oh, we got our Humvee. Nice. I always like the Humvees and the tanks in this game. Really cool weaponry. Always had a good time with that. And this guy. I don't know. I'm gonna move him out because that, that gunship down there, who's our friend, is uh, can take us out as well. Oh, dude. They got the gunship down there. They're taking out those turrets. Those couple turrets right there. It's a pretty cool opening scene, like this beach landing. It's, uh, it's actually really, really cool. And then when it switches songs like that, you can hear it's also slowing the game down. So yeah, it's really, I mean, I don't know. It's probably the only, <laughs> only 386 that can run Command & Conquer. I mean, that's, that's my guess. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent sure, but uh, yeah, this is like well, well beyond the capabilities of this computer. And it does run slow, but you know, eh, whatever. Anyways, if you guys like Command and Conquer? Do you like playing uh, Nod or GDI? Typically I like Nod actually, because I like playing the bad guy, but I just like the opening scene of this one better with the beach landing, it's kind of cool. Construction complete. I love that 90s music in the background. Vehicle reporting. Vehicle reporting. Right there, dude. And we got our barracks. Yeah, I don't know this jerkiness. It's, the, it's my computer not being able to uh, process fast enough. Uh, where can you deploy? There we go. There we go. Start making some mini gunners. Building. So we got a little army down here. Move a couple out. We can select them. Yes, sir. There you we go. Ready. Put these guys like right about there. Get it ready. Building. Do another one. Yeah, and later on there's like this thing called Tiberium, I remember. <laughs> you probably remember that as well. That's kind of like the money, the gold in the game. Except it's uh, highly radioactive. Your troops walk through it and they pretty much just die. Oh, this mouse. I hope I get a new mouse that'll fix this issue. I think because I've been playing a lot of... Uh, PC games using the mouse like Warcraft 2 I've been playing a lot of and um, I just uh, you know used up what what life this mouse had I mean it's a cheap mouse anyway so no name you know whatever serial mouse all right I think we've got enough guys I don't want to labor this for too long Let's see what's going on Right. Building. Nice. And in this one, you can't really make any money, so we just have that, you know, thousand dollars up there. Really, not much else. Unit ready. All right. Unit what? I did not select you, dude. There we go. Oh, oh man. 386 struggling, guys. 
Can't say I didn't push this computer to the maximum. This computer also has 32 megabytes of RAM and a very fast video card, which I, I recently upgraded. So that kind of allows me to play some of these 486 games. But of course, there's no substitute for a, uh, a faster CPU. All right, let's go up in here. This video might be a little bit longer than usual. Just because there's so much, uh, <laughs> so much slowdown. And especially, it goes a lot off the CD. And the CD-ROM I have, it's a two-speed CD-ROM. So it's just, you know, barely the requirement for the game. So a little bit faster would be good. I remember growing up, I had a friend who got a uh, new computer. Oh no, what am I doing? No! Did I just build a power plant? Ah. On hold. Yeah, on hold already. Cancel. Cancel, there we go. All right. Oh, Mr. Buzzsaw. What are you doing, Mr. Buzzsaw? Ah. Yeah, so anyways, I had a friend that, that got a uh, newer computer back then. And I remember him being so proud. He had a three times speed CD-ROM. <laughs> he would always talk about it. It just like got ingrained in my head. So <laughs> you can imagine how times have changed since then, right? I mean, I forgot what kind of computer I had back then. I know I had a 386 SX16. That thing was horrible. And then later I had a Pentium. But I'm not 100% sure if I had something in between. I know I never had a 486, so maybe I had some kind of really low-end Pentium for a couple years. I'm just just not really sure. Don't recall. Now, where am I going? I'm out in the wilderness here. Come on, dudes. You can do it. 386. You can do it. <laughs> but you know what? The system is stable. It's a completely stable system. It's not uh, glitching out. It's not uh, crashing. So we got that going for us. Just a slow. I mean, a 486 DX266 compared to a 386 DX40. I mean, yeah, that's a big big difference i mean that processor is probably about three three four times faster than this one so yeah i mean even an early pentium would be good for this this game right here all right how do we get over there not through there maybe down here don't remember all blocked out that's the end that's the end all right well anyways we gotta go back around looks like see switching songs i kind of like this soundtrack i don't know it still sticks in my mind from back in the day i just remember this cheesy uh 90s tunes Come on, dudes. Building. We can build a, a mini gunner. All right. Unit ready. Nice. Yeah, I know that one guy's almost dead. That's okay. I don't care. Let's just finish up this level. So what do you guys think? Playable or not playable? <laughs> What's your opinion on that? It's definitely questionable. I mean, there's some issues with the mouse. I'm not sure if it's 100% uh, the computer's fault. So, you know, I got a new mouse coming. So we'll see if it actually does anything.
Where is everybody? Nobody, wow. Alright, actually, I'm gonna put them back here. Now we're gonna take these guys. We're gonna finish this up. Just do it, uh. Oh, there's something here. Unit ready. Building. Build one more. Yes, sir. Take that dude out. Yes, sir. What's the hold up? So what's you guys' favorite Command and Conquer game? I mean, personally, I've only played the original, and then I played um, Red Alert. And then there was one like Tiberian Sun, I think it was called. That was another one I played. And that's pretty much it. I know there's a lot more afterwards. I mean, after that, you know, life got busy. I was working, etc. So, you know. I didn't play as much, uh, you know, didn't keep up with the Command & Conquer series. But yeah, this first one I remember just being just really revolutionary and just a lot of fun and which is a really big deal back in the day. Really, really big deal. And so it's fun to kind of relive that on the PC. Mission accomplished. Oh, nice. Here we go. Mission accomplished, guys. I always like these. These are fun. These little clips. As the tank comes rolling through. Oh, I guess it's deploying the uh, the base. There we go. So cool. Love that stuff. Anyways, guys, I think that's pretty much the end of the video. It's been a long one. Sorry about that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can see on these... Uh, these little FMV parts, uh, the computer is not struggling at all. It's running pretty good. So not so bad at all. Just on the actual gameplay, it's a bit slow. I'm going to try and tinker around, see if I can fix that. So anyways, guys, have a wonderful day. Leave a lizard emoji if you made it this far. Appreciate your comments and have a wonderful day.